Welcome back, lovely people. Well, our boys have been doing quite terrific of recent. They've had three wins, one defeat, and one draw. Not bad for a bunch of kids that just been playing together for a handful of weeks. This week's challenge is against an all-star Victorian futsal team. Futsal, for you who don't know, is the girly version of football that's played indoors because it's too cold to play outside, and they replace their boots with ballet shoes, and they fiddle around with the ball like little girls. So let's see how our men take on these boys. And also, check out some familiar faces from last year in the game. I recognised um, two guys from the opposition. I remember one guy because he went from like state to state with his girlfriend, you know, lugging her around like, you know, she was the soccer ball. Natalia's knocked me back three times now. He knows me. I'm a Melbourne lad. It'll come back to haunt him on the fourth time. I guarantee you that. I'm here today to prove a point to Vitali and show him what we can do, especially uh, the team today. We've got a very good team, so uh, watch out, superstars. Hopefully, the result leaves a sour taste in Vitali's mouth. The other familiar face from last year is William Dixon, who went one better than Adam by making the final 15. Seeing our opposition, I thought would would have a good chance because they all look like geeks. Uh, yeah, we all know that. Okay. On the front of the back, all right? Leg up. Up, 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 up. Boys, this is a massive game for many reasons. First one is, there's only six of you left, okay? This is a true test like it is on any outdoor game. The next reason is, there's a couple of individuals in that team who were part of the show last year, right? In fact, one was in the top 15. The other one has got a point to prove. I wanna make sure that you guys prove a point that you're better than what we had last year. One, two, three, superstar, let's go! I um, knew it was gonna be hard because that's not our environment, you know, we had to sort of change our game to suit futsal. Futsal is played with four outfield players plus a goalie. Vitali deciding on a diamond-shaped formation with Steve at the back, Luke on the left, Sebastian on the right and Cozzy up front with David and Jack on the bench. The boys' opposition, playing in red, is a top-flight team of Victoria's best futsal players. They waste no time setting the pace from the outset. Within the first couple of minutes, we got a free kick outside the semicircle. I lined it up. Belted it as hard as I could at the wall, and I got a lucky deflection and it went in. 1-0 superstars. But the All-Stars come bounding back. William Dixon firing in a bullet from the flank to draw level. A mistake at the back by Stephen costing the superstars. 2-1 to the home team. Our boys adapting quickly to the fast-paced indoor game. Luke making his mark to all. Got played out to me by Dave and I just took a quick touch and a quick shot and it fumbled through the keeper's hands. But I was happy to get one on the board. William raising the bar with outstanding skill. 3-2 to the All-Stars. The home team dominating at the end of the first half. Our boys now two goals down. At the end of the first half, it ended up 4-2. I think we could have been up, but their keeper made a lot of good saves. So, yeah, we were unlucky. Being down at halftime was, I thought it was a joke because I, I knew deep down that we were all better players than them. And on an outdoor pitch, they'd never be able to cope. Guys, it's not that bad. We're doing well. Stay tight, don't go over committed to try and get this goal straight away and we're gonna concede another goal. If we concede another goal, it's pretty much over. If we score a goal, we're in this game. Let's keep it tight, let's go. The superstars starting the second half on the front foot. All back, all back, all back, all back, 
A magnificent one-two between David and Luke, keeping our lads in the contest. That's the one! William hustling in the midfield, scoring a glorious hat-trick. 5-3 to the All-Stars. Last year's marksman well and truly making his point to this year's lads. Jack, who's been firing on all cylinders, feeds a great ball to Sebastian. Oh, my God! Adam Husseini having a shocker. A yellow card capping a bad day at the office. Stephen, Sebastian and Luke linking up to produce a ripper goal. What a goal! And that ended up being a 5-4, so we were, you know, we were within one goal. And then David scored an own goal, which um, you know, pretty much ended, ended our hopes of winning the game. They went on the counter, so I just ran back as fast as I could and he just kicked it in my path. I sort of just hit it in. It was unlucky, but they were going to score anyway because there was a guy right behind me and he had an open goal to shoot at. A lot of the boys are pretty pissed off because we lost 6-4 we lost against those geeks. Unlucky V, maybe next time. Might have to put a futsal court in the mansion for him. I didn't want to lose to those guys because I knew they'd, they'd want to rub it in and they did a bit at the end, like just put salt in the wound and I can't stand that, I hate it. We got caught out a couple of times on the counter-attack, right, not tracking our runners. But it's not a criticism. It was good that we were so competitive and unfortunate not to get something more out of the game. Now, a couple of individuals stood out for me, right? I do have to go with the man of the match. In the end, it was a very close call out of Luke and Jack. And in the end, I've given it to Jack for his performance. So, well done. I don't think I deserve to get man of the match, to be honest. But um, then again, definitely nice to get $1,000 from that. So, I'll take it. In the end, he gave it to Jack, which I was a bit bummed about. But, you know, life goes on.